Hey everybody, welcome back. Talking about media, physical media as well as digital media and the importance of having manuals, various types of manuals for different types of situations. You know, something for edible plants, something for medicinal plants, something for farming and gardening, something for medical emergencies and first aid, maybe combat manuals or manuals for uh, firearms or reloading like we do a lot of reloading and bullet making so we have a lot of manuals for that but they're in physical form it's important to consider that not just to have it in a, a digital form or in the cloud which by the way i hate the cloud <laughs> but uh, i'm a user of the cloud yeah, i she, admit she does i hate the cloud because it it slows my system down for one thing. It's like, oh, we're gonna store it in the cloud. I don't want it stored in the cloud. I shut that thing off all the time and it pops back up. It's really annoying. It's like, figure it out. The computer figures out everything else. It doesn't figure out that I want this off. Anyway, rant over. Yeah. <laughs> There's various ways that you can store that. And it's really important to have these manuals. As I pointed out, having a hard copy, having a physical manual, a booklet hell even an old boy scout manual which by the way the modern ones are crap if you've seen the modern boy scout manuals so you compare it to one from like the 70s or even the 80s it's really ridiculous but an old school boy scout manual old military manuals things like this that have instructions for doing various things anything from uh, putting a splint on your leg to building a cabin I know the old Boy Scout manuals used to have instructions for building a small structure, building a tower, a lookout tower, and a, a footbridge, and things like that. Crazy stuff that you wouldn't expect. But then, like I said, they used to do a lot more. So having lots of physical me media, and I like having the books. I like having the books, and don't just have them sitting there collecting dust, because knowing stuff and knowing how to do it are two different things. It's like everybody can drive a car, but who can fix it? Hmm. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. So having a hard copy, having a copy on your computer that you can reference or that you can download from a lot of people. She likes to do a lot of that. She'll find stuff on the computer and she'll download it and she puts it into binders. <laughs> I'm the binder queen. Yeah, I love she things is. To be, <laughs> I do. I love things to be in binders. Yeah. Um, because what I do is I go around on the internet and I find a topic and I'll find it in PDF or something mm -hmm. like that and I'll download it and I'll download it, save it on the computer and save a copy on the cloud in case yeah. something happens to that computer is on the cloud. But then I also print it out and I make a binder and I have a binder for everything, canning, um, medical treatment, map reading, compass reading, bullet making. I will make a binder for everything. Yeah, soap, candles. Yeah, because uh, I make and soap. And yeah, she does all she does all that <laughs> stuff. So she, she's very handy. <laughs> yeah, very because handy. um, you know, I do it because I like it, and we actually use the soap, and and, yeah. and we don't buy soap anymore. Yeah, um, we use the soap that I make, but then. You know, it's, it's nice to have if the grid goes down, if you have to live like you're in the 1800s, you have skills that are useful. Um, the one thing I do regret, I didn't get into the canning because I got discouraged watching YouTube videos. So now I don't watch the videos anymore. No. Because they, they discouraged me and I thought, oh, no, I'm not going to be able to do it. Now I regret it. But, um, yeah get manuals and you don't have to buy them all the time also like I said I go around on the internet and find it download it for free or when we go to places like Goodwill I'll look for um, a survival manual yeah um, sometimes you might find on eBay survival manuals um, military FM manuals I had a couple so I still have those we got it put away you know, so it's good. Yeah, it doesn't hurt at all to have that. And as you said, you like to copy it to the cloud. I don't like the cloud. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, also, you can download certain manuals and instructions to your phone. Phones ha can hold a, an incredible amount of data now and often work better than your 
lap your laptop or your home computer, which makes no freaking sense. <laughs> but you can download it and have it stored in your phone. And even if there's no phone service, you can still look it up on the phone as long as you can get power to it. And they do have solar chargers, the, the small portable ones that yeah. you can plug into your phone so you can keep it going. Yeah, and, and keep we using have that those. as a tool. Yeah. yeah, we have those and they're they're fairly cheap and they work. They're slow. You're not gonna get a fast charge, yeah. but you will get a charge. Yeah. So I mean those are some things to think about with uh, having various manuals and instruction booklets and things like that at your disposal. And actually, you know, look through them, find what's of interest to you in them and try to do it you know try to do the things that you find in those manuals if they interest you you can't do everything yeah but you know you can experiment with some of it just so that you're you're not completely stuck if you ever need to fall back on that because like i said having the information and knowing how to do it are two different things entirely. I mean, I could give you a manual on how to ride a bike, and if you've never rode a bike before, it's still gonna take you a couple of weeks to figure it out, to, to learn how to stay up on there properly. You can't just read it and be like, oh, I know how to ride a bike now. <laughs> it doesn't work like that in the real world. So, any other thoughts on that? No, that's it. Okay, well. I'm sure people watching at home might have some thoughts on that. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you get where we're coming from. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. If you're new to the channel and you're wondering what's the deal with the cat pictures, the images of the cats actually help with the loading algorithm because YouTube wants you to look at cats and not think for yourself. It actually does work. If you'd like to help the channel out, or the stray cats for that matter, there are links for that down below. Every little bit helps, and we sure do appreciate it. And if that's it, then what more can I say but stay frosty, folks? And thanks for watching.